Hi, this is Craig Peterson, creator of the video series 12 Things You Must Know Before Building a Solar Panel. If you've been looking around on eBay for solar cells, you may have noticed people selling broken and split solar cells. These have their advantages and disadvantages, so let's take a look at them both. Broken cells means that a chunk of the cell is missing. Cells are rated by volts and amps, and when you take a chunk out of the cell, the effective amperage is reduced and the voltage remains the same. The bad news about this is that your entire solar panel is only as strong as your weakest link. Let's say, for example, that the cell is putting out 25% less than it would be if it were complete. This means that the entire solar panel will put out 25% less than it could, even though only one cell is damaged. So when it comes to broken solar cells, don't waste your time. You may save a few bucks, but it'll, it'll hurt the output of your entire panel so much that it's not worth it. The other thing you may have seen while cruising around on eBay are split cells. Split cells are complete cells, but they have a hairline crack down the grain of the cell. These cells generally put out the same amount of amperage as their unsplit counterparts, but can be picked up at a fraction of the cost. I built most of my solar panels with split solar cells, and I couldn't be happier with the results. By the time they're glued down to the frame, you can't even tell that they were split in the first place. So the takeaway here is split cells are a great deal if you can find them. They're not always so easy to find. People pick them up pretty quick when they show up on eBay. Uh, and broken cells are not even worth looking at. Just walk away. So keep an eye out and you'll do just fine. Happy shopping. See you in the next video.